So YouTube team, keep it clean. I can't lie, man. I am uh, a little bit jealous of the Dolphins right now, but I respect what they're doing for their young quarterback on his rookie deal. The Miami Dolphins are providing Tua with no excuses. Zero. The Miami Dolphins are like, okay, all right, Tua, let's let's really go all in for you. They just signed Teron Armstead yesterday to give Tua some more protection. And now they're like, you know what? We just gave this left tackle this big deal. So we, we want you to be protected. So you know, you know what? Let's go get one of let's go get one of the best wide receivers in the league for you. And you know what? We didn't even have to give up Jalen Waddle, who was one of the best rookie wide receivers last year. We didn't even have to give him up because I know a lot of people thought that, oh, maybe the Chiefs, they may try to take on Jalen Waddle. Nope. Dolphins are keeping him too. <laughs> oh, Dolphins. I, I, I love it. I love what you're doing. They just re-signed uh, Preston Williams too. What's, where, where's Devontae Parker at? Is he still there too? They, they franchise tag Mike Gesicki. <laughs> oh, these Dolphins. <laughs> oh, gosh. The Dolphins. They got Tyreek Hill. I was just telling one of my guys, this this trade is going to be done like today. The, the, I told him the latest is done is tomorrow, but it's going to be done today. And it's done like a, not even an hour after the news comes out. So let's look at the compensation. So, the Chiefs are trading Tyreek Hill to the Dolphins for five draft picks. Whoa! But let's see what these draft picks are. So, they get a first-round pick this year. They get a second-round pick this year. And they get a fourth-round pick this year. As well as fourth- and sixth-round picks in next year's draft. So, basically, I mean, you can't discount the picks from next year's draft but at the same time for, for me i do in my eye a fourth and a sixth I'm like mm, yeah, for tyreek hill uh, but so basically a first a second and a fourth for one of the best wide receivers in the game <laughs> easy easy deal for the dolphins easy and then i know people are gonna say whoa, whoa but what tyreek hill you gotta pay him the money you, you get what you pay for, right? You do. Quality. Quality play. High quality play. Superstar quality player that the Dolphins are getting for Tua. This is crazy. This, this, this season has been just wild. So the Dolphins, of course, they're taking on his contract. They're probably going to give him a new contract. Um, but again, they're going in. They're going in for Tua. And any team that goes, really goes in for their quarterback, I ain't got nothing but respect for him. Nothing but. Um, this move, man, uh, Tyreek Hill's a game changer. He is a game changer. He is an elite wide receiver. We were just talking about it in the previous video um, that this dude can do so much. He can do so much. Now Tua... You know, Tua, he, he going to be hitting the weights extra heavy now, man. He going to get that arm strength up just a little bit, even though I feel like his arm strength is, is a bit underrated. But now he really like, he going to be hitting the weights extra. So he could, oh, oh, wrong. that was my right hand. Left hand, because Tua's a lefty, but Tua going to try to get right uh, when it comes to that arm strength. Because Tyreek Hill is a wide receiver that you cannot overthrow. And, and think about, think about, oh, think about this. You got, dog on it, man, the Dolphins. You got Tyreek Hill, this dude, take the top off a of defense. But you got Jalen Waddle that could do the same thing. So safeties with playing the Dolphins, oh, safeties going to have to be extra on point with playing the Dolphins. And another thing to consider, too, a lot of people felt like, oh, okay, well, the Dolphins, if they trade him for a Tyreek Hill, they probably going to have to give up. Xavier, Xavier and Howard or some, or maybe Byron Jones. Nope. Nothing. Nobody. They did not have to give up anybody, man. Nobody. <laughs> Jeez, man. 
Mm, mm, mm. Man. Ah, that is that is that is crazy, man. That's crazy. Now, as far as the Chiefs, um, they got a bunch of draft picks. Cool. They I guess they ain't want to pay Tyreek anymore. A lot of people looking at Tyreek crazy. And I know, trust me, it's gonna be in the comment section. People are gonna be like, oh well, I guess Tyreek Hill just didn't want to win now. I guess Tyreek Hill doesn't want to win anything. Dog, do you not understand that the NFL is a business? And a lot of times fans, and, and I get it because I'm a fan too, but you got to look at it from the business side more. A lot of fans, they only think like fans, again, which is not a bad thing. It's just a thing. But a lot of fans only think like fans, meaning they think about their favorite team and they think about their, some of their favorite players across the league and whatnot. And they think about those players situations when it comes to getting Super Bowls. Not every player is thinking about a Super Bowl like that. And I'm not saying, oh, Dolphins are not Super Bowl uh, contenders. We'll see. But not every... So, Tyreek Hill got a Super Bowl. He got that. That can never be taken away from him either. He is a Super Bowl champion. But he also, he got paid already. Now he's trying to get paid again. He's trying to get paid again. And he will get paid again. And now he gets to go to Miami? What? <laughs> like that... He gets to go to Miami. You're going to Miami. He he comes down here during the off season, but now he gets to live in Miami. What? And you get to get paid. You already got your super. You're already proven. Everybody knows who you are. Everybody respects your game on that field. What what he got left to prove? Say for instance, his numbers go down. They take a dip. And I would expect them to. But say, for instance, that happens. If he falls off, so to speak, he's going to get paid. He's going to get paid. And he definitely makes that Miami Dolphins team that much better. This team that, what did they win? Like eight out of the last nine or some crazy. They went on that crazy win streak toward the end of the season. He makes them so much better, significantly better, because he's such a legitimate threat. He's such a constant threat. He's somebody that can literally turn nothing. He can turn nothing. Actually, you know what? I take that back. He's somebody that can take, he can turn negative into a positive. Tell me how many times, if you've watched any Chiefs game, then I know you've seen it. Any Chiefs, well, at least a Chiefs game where Tyreek Hill catch at least two, two balls or more. But if you watch Chiefs game, you watch Tyreek Hill play. Tell me how many times you have seen. Tell me. Well, you probably can't tell me. You remember it happening, but you, you probably forgot the number of times because you haven't seen it happen so much. How many times have you seen where Tyreek Hill catches the pass? It's like, all right, Tyreek Hill caught it. He runs backwards. And it's like, oh, 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 oh he's about to lose yards. Tyreek Hill, no, 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 you shouldn't have done that. He'll run backwards, make a couple moves. Then it's like a gain of 10 or 12 yards. How many times? You see that all the time, man. You see it all the time. This still Tyreek Hill is a different animal, man. <laughs> so, ooh, imagine Tua. Tua drop back. It's, it's weird doing it like this because I'm right-handed. But Tua drop back, hit Tyreek Hill with a screen. You get the right blocking. It's game over. It's game over. Imagine Tua drop back. Tyreek Hill deep. Oh, beat both the corner and the safety. And Tua gets it to him. Oh, it's game over. Imagine Tua drops back. Tyreek Hill goes deep. Oh, you got a corner trying to run with him. You got the safety backing up trying to catch up with him. Oh, Jalen Waddle coming across the mid. Oh, and they imagine the yak from Jalen Waddle too. <sighs> Dolphins, y'all are sick, man. Sick in a good way, though. Sick in a good way. But congrats on getting Tyreek Hill. And then again. He's not just a receiver. Like, he's a returner as well. You know the Dolphins are going to put him at punt return because he's one of those players that you just want on the field 24-7. You, you always want him on the field because he instantly upgrades your team like that. So he obviously upgrades your offense, upgrades your special teams like crazy too. But even going back to the offense, mimic the Dolphins. This is what the Dolphins need to do, in my opinion. Dolphins need to mimic... What the Chiefs did with Tyreek Hill, they obviously used him as a wide receiver. Yes, they did that. 
But move him around. Don't just have him line up outside. Don't just have him line up in a slot. Move him around because he is more than just a wide receiver. He will be respected as, I mean, he's already respected as a wide receiver, but he is going to be respected as a phenomenal football player. So use that to your advantage. You can use that to get Tyreek Hill involved, but you can also use Tyreek Hill in a major way to take attention from all of your other options too. And Tua got some nice options on that squad. You can use him to be a distraction. You can use him to his, because he can do anything, he can do it all. But you can line him up in the backfield. You could have them come in motion. Of course, they're going to have their reverses and whatever, the end arounds and all that good stuff, the jet sweeps. You're going to have all that stuff at your disposal with, I mean, you had it at your disposal with Jalen Waddle, but now you got Jalen Waddle, Aaron Tariq, Hill, and Devontae Walker, and Preston Williams, all on the same team. Why you see you two? Oh, my God. <sighs> Miami, man. <laughs> Oh, I know Dolphins. One of my boy who's a Dolphins fan. He 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 just texts me too, man. He just texts me. He say Dolphins coming in hot, man. <laughs> wow, they did it, man. This dude is in Miami. I I really like. I really can't believe it, man. It's 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 crazy. It's crazy. He is officially with the Dolphins. Wow. So, as far as the Chiefs, Tyreek Hill. I mean, he not the Chiefs, but Patrick Mahomes. It's um it puts a lot of pressure on his game. And again, now you you should expect them to draft a wide receiver early, um, in the first couple of rounds, uh, just to give um Patrick Mahomes that true deep threat. He, he needs, like, now you do got McCole Harbin now, too. So, can't forget about McCole Harbin. And it's funny because he actually tweeted something um, a couple weeks back. And I just saw it. He said, I don't know why. <laughs> he said, I don't know why y'all be hating on me when it comes to football, LOL. Y'all do realize I have to wait behind the best tight end and wide receiver in the game. And I quote tweeted that today. I said, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. So his days of waiting are over. Um, but you you know, like he, they they I still think they're gonna draft the receiver early. I don't think they're gonna put all their eggs in uh McCole Hartman in his basket. Um I still think and, and again they still got Juju, but I still think they'll get another significant uh deep threat at wide receiver. Just so they can keep their options open. Because you know with the Chiefs, again, Chiefs always, they, they continue to uh, reload weapons for Patrick Mahomes. But, now this will be a little bit different this year. Because normally, they will, be, they will always be getting more and more weapons for Patrick Mahomes. But you had your core guys. You had those same two core guys. Travis Kels and Tyreek Hill. But now Tyreek Hill's gone. So the way that the Chiefs go about just their everyday offense, the way the Chiefs go about their day-to-day -day maneuvers is going to be significantly different now. And that puts a lot of pressure on a McCole Hardman or on whoever they choose to get, pick up, sign, trade for, draft, whatever. That puts a lot of pressure on them because nobody's going to, well, actually a lot of fans that, the comparisons are going to be there because that's what fans do. It's what media does as well. When one player, one very, very significant player leaves, then whoever takes that significant player spot, they are for, they're going to be compared to that player, especially in their first year. Because fans, media, analysts, they're all going to be looking for similarities and different things they can, that you can compare, differences and whatnot. They're going to be looking at all that stuff and be like, oh, well, what does McCole Hartman do like Tyreek Hill? What doesn't he do like Tyreek Hill? Oh, what, if we still had Tyreek Hill, would he have completed that? Oh, if we still had Tyreek Hill, could he have done that? And it, that's just, that's how it's going to go. So whether it's going to be McCole Hartman in that role or it's going to be a rookie or if it's going to be somebody else. They will be compared to Tyreek Hill. It won't be fair, but that's life, especially life in the NFL. It's not fair. It's the no fair league. It's also the, the no fun league. It's also not for long, um, but 
that's that, man. So it is crazy that Chiefs wide receiver, well, former Chiefs wide receiver, uh, Tyreek Hill, his uh, his run with the Chiefs is over. It's done. It's done. So just like Tyreek Hill, when it comes to being with the Chiefs, I'm out.